Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at my AMQ Active Pro adjustable desk. So this desk is from AMQ, but that's a steel case company, and I'll put a link below on Steelcase's website if you want to check these out. But I don't currently have an affiliate link for this or anything. So I bought this at a local commercial office supply store. So this is a commercial grade adjustable desk. It has a 10 year warranty. So the bottom is the AMQ Active Pro, but the top is a Han laminate work surface in Portico Teak. So let's get in and take a closer look. So the fit and finish on this is very nice. So this is steel, it's painted steel, and it's incredibly smooth. This is a two-stage model because it has two pieces here. Some are three, and that gives you a little bit more range on it. And this is the T leg. They also have the C leg. So this goes up in the middle. They have some that goes to the back and it'd be more C-shaped. The top is attached with screws and there are rubber isolators here. And you can set this up. This is adjustable. So I went with a 24 inch by 50 inch top. And this I could have put flush with the side but there's a little bit of an offset here. So I took the offset value from the front and I put that on the side so it has the same offset all around. So this came in three boxes. These pieces came in a box, these side pieces came in a box, and then the rest of it came in another box. So I didn't film the assembly, but these attached here with four screws. These have two screws here on each side to hold this, and the motor is up here, and then these attach on. So this does have an adjustable width. So these pieces can slide to make this wider or narrower. And then it has screws here. There's one, two, three, four that clamp these two pieces together. There's also a screw right here and those clamp it this way. So it makes it very sturdy. So here's one of the motors. It says the max is less than or equal to 225 pounds. And it has a cord here. It has little plastic pieces to keep the cord up. And that plugs in right here. And then we have the same on the other side. So here's the power cord. The power cord is very long and it may need to be depending on how you plug this in. And then the controller is over here. So typically these controllers would be proud of the edge, but I offset it a little bit. So it's kind of flush. If I put my hand here, this is down. I figured it'd be less likely to get it hit or broken off. So I recessed it a little bit. It's a little bit harder to see the numbers and stuff, but I can get used to it. It's no big deal. So one downside is the wires are pretty long. So these are the wires from the controller and they're hanging down. So I need to rig these up somehow. I have installed a power strip under here and this was provided to me for a different video and I'll put a link to that video below. So I've screwed this on and I've plugged things in and I've ordered a shorter cord to go from the controller to this power strip. So it will just hang down a little bit. And any other cords I have hanging down, I'm going to screw into the surface. I'll use little clamps here to wire those down. You can also get self-adhesive ones. This is laminated on the bottom. It did have some things cut into it. Here's some grooves cut in. It had some holes drilled, but I pretty much had to drill holes for everything that I put on. So you want to be careful if you're drilling holes in something like this that you don't drill through the whole surface. So I take my drill bit and I measure how long the screw is and I put tape around this drill bit to mark where I need to stop. And I didn't have any trouble drilling through. So I've also got shorter cords for my computer. I'll get a shorter monitor cord. So I'll be able to get rid of a lot of these cords hanging down here. And this is back far enough and the power switch is over here. I'm not going to hit that with my knee or anything. So this can be slid off and be put on this side. It would slide into this little clamp thing here. So this is the Portico Teak work surface. This is from Han. And this is, I think, about an inch thick or so. And it's a very high quality laminate work surface. I think Steelcase or AMQ also has work surfaces. Or you could just get a board. You could make your own. So that could be really nice. So the chair I use with this is the Steelcase Leap. And it's highly adjustable and I'll put a link below on Amazon to this if you're interested in it. Then on my workstation, I have a mousing surface from 3M. I have a jelly comb keyboard and mouse, and those were provided to me. I'm an affiliate of that company. And then I have my Mac mini and my monitor and a couple other things here. I have an arm mount on order for that. I have some other desk accessories. So I have a playlist for a tech bench I built, and I'm going to put these videos on that. I'll change that to a tech bench workspace playlist. And I'll put this video on there, and I'll also put future videos on because I have some things on order. I have an outlet that's going to clamp on the edge. I have some shorter cables. I have the monitor mount and other things in the future. So this doesn't have a drawer on it. So I ordered a drawer I'm hoping to mount over here. So here's AMQ's website and it talks about the different features. It has four memory presets, two or three stage legs, but let's go over to Steelcase's website and you can see the different finishes here we have here. We have platinum, we have white, black, and merle. So I got platinum and the laminate colors would be Steelcase laminates. I didn't get those. And then it has the T foot, C foot, and you can get the extended height, which is the three stage. And here are the specs on the heights. 
So the top one is the two stage, which is what I have, and the bottom just below that is the three stage. So mine goes 28 inches to 47.7 inches, and the three stage goes from 24.5 to 50 inches. So you get a little bit more range out of the three stage. So let's take a look at the controls over here. This is down all the way, and it does have a little display. It's at 27.9, and if we press this, it will go up. If we let go, it stops. We could tap that to make it go up. It goes up by tenths of an inch. It's not super precise. And then we can set a memory. So I have memory one and two set, but I will set M3. So now if I want to go to my first memory, which is actually all the way down, you actually have to hold it down. I'm sure that's a safety feature. So there, we held it down, it stopped. We can go to three, which I just set, okay? So you can see it gets closer, it starts slowing down. And then two, that's my standing height. So it is very quiet and you can hear the motors, but it's not annoying by any means. And that's my standing height right there. I can make it go up all the way. So this is about chest level for me. It's maybe a little bit below chest level. So that's the AMQ Active Pro Adjustable Desk. If you're looking for a standing desk or an adjustable desk, you might want to check this out. I would look for a steel case dealer in your area, or it looks like you can order them online. But if you have a dealer in your area, they can provide warranty support and such. But this is a commercial grade desk, so it's very high quality. It should last a long time. And a nice thing about this is that I have a solid work surface on it that's one piece. I know some that you can order on Amazon are two piece tops, and I'm guessing the quality is nowhere near as good as this Han work surface. And I'm guessing the steel case work surface surfaces are very good too. But if you get this at a commercial office supply store, I'm guessing they can make recommendations on what kind of tops to put on it. So I want to make this video because I'll be doing some accessories that'll go along with this that you don't necessarily need with this desk. For instance, all of these wires down here I want to clean up. I think that's just kind of hideous. So I've got shorter wires on order and then I have other things to clamp to the top and make this a much cleaner desk setup. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.